Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Eric Post, welcome to the United States Army Training Center and Fort Jackson for the graduation of Companies A, B, C, and D from the 2nd Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Jonathan Stevens. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for uh, your goodness to us. You are a good God. We are a blessed people. Today we thank you for the freedoms that we enjoy. And we're ever grateful for the men and women who have served our great country and defended this nation. We stop today to recognize and to celebrate the accomplishments of the newest 213 graduating soldiers. We thank you for the provisions of strength that you provided when they needed the most. When they felt alone, you were with them. When they were hurting, you comforted them. And when they thought this day would never come, you carried them to this moment. Every sleepless night, every long hour, every push-up, every mile, every struggle they have endured here facing combat training, these trials have not been vain, where they stand here, a soldier in the United States Army. We thank you for the leadership of 213 that has been provided. We thank you, God, for the tireless effort for every drill sergeant, every command team, every cadre member, in preparing the next great generation of soldiers. We ask now, God, for a special blessing over their future careers. God, protect them as they travel this week. And God, may you give them the, the fortitude and the tenacity to continue serving this great country. And God, we ask and we pray that you would bless each family member that's here today and protect them as they travel home. And God, we pray that you would protect and bless all those serving across our country and around the world. May you bless this graduation ceremony today. It is in your most holy name that we pray these things. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see standing in formation before you today who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation for our newest soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training, but those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tense of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of the soldiers and are truly honored that they have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band, under the direction of Chief Warrant Officer 3, Kevin Pick, graduating soldiers from Alpha Company, Bravo Company, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from Charlie Company and Delta Company. leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear the distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Samuel Warren, who serves as the executive officer for the 2nd Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment. He and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. The review 
Recruiting Officer for today's graduation is the Commander of the 2nd Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Derek Campbell. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Joseph Magnon, the Battalion's Senior Non-Commissioned Officer, Master Trainer, and Principal Advisor to the Commander. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the National Anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our National Anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Right flank, march. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. 
the drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, we ask that all past and present drill sergeants please stand as Staff Sergeant Boys and All, the drill sergeant and disciple for the 2nd Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, recites the drill sergeant creed. Visitors, families, and friends, welcome to today's graduation ceremony. 
Welcome to your soldiers. Congratulations. Since 1917, Fort Jackson has helped forge America's warrior class as it transforms civilians into disciplined, competent, and professional soldiers. Fort Jackson is responsible for manufacturing tomorrow's heroes, and it produces them at a rate of more than 48,000 soldiers per year, which is more than half the Army's requirement. This is why, here at Fort Jackson, we truly proclaim that victory starts here. Today that tradition continues as we welcome 838 of America's newest defenders of freedom into our ranks. And throughout time, the conduct of war has changed and will continue to change. But through it all, the one constant remains its people. We are a people business, and we are here in the business of producing the best people to be our soldiers and leaders that any army has to offer. That said, we must recognize that our present is shaped by our past, and I want to start by recognizing our veterans. We are a free nation because of their sacrifices. The American service members who have fought for continue to fight for our freedoms. I ask that all veterans and retirees attending today please stand. Selflessly, they committed their time, energy, and passion to transform your loved ones from civilians to soldiers. Your soldiers will forget their peers, some of their experiences will fade away, but I guarantee you they'll always remember the names of that drill sergeant. And working alongside the drill sergeants, we have a host of support cadre staff, platoon leaders, company commanders, and first sergeants, moving mountains daily in support of our mission. And we promise you, we fully recognize the responsibility of our charge which is, caring, which is caring for and developing America's most precious resource. These are your sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers. So it is never taken lightly. Next to the families, next to the families, teachers, coaches, mentors, and friends attending today, thank you. Thank you for your support and your trust in us to protect your loved ones. They would not be out here without you. And what an amazing group. Your soldiers re represent an all-volunteer force composed of America's finest. Now here in the ranks before you, the youngest soldier is 17 years old and the oldest is 41. We have 16 soldiers out here with master master's degrees, 29 with bachelors, 19 with associates, and one with a doctorate. Same thing, I started in the Navy. So, so we have representatives in 42 U.S. countries, I'm sorry, U.S. states and territories, 37 countries from all parts of the world. There's 65 Army military occupational skills and all three components of the total Army, active, reserve, and national guard. We have 10 out here continuing on to Officer Candidate School to earn their commission as U.S. Army officers. So, 
To the soldiers, congratulations. You have trained hard, you have demonstrated the proficiency in your warrior tasks that form the fundamental skills required to be part of the most successful team in history. As these soldiers first received their army patches during the soldier ceremony, and again as they took the field today, I know that every one of them felt a tingling sensation deep in their chest that was nothing more than pride. Pride for having become a soldier. Proud of their accomplishments, proud of their battle buddies, and proud to truly earn the right to serve our great nation as an American soldier. And finally, thank you again for attending today's ceremony. Thank you for the support of our soldiers and our nation. We wish all our soldiers safe travels and success as they move on to the next chapter of their Army story. 40 rounds, no ground to give, and victory. Today's soldier is a warrior, adaptive, confident, and calm. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the warrior ethos, grounded in our values, and determined to destroy enemies of the United States of America and their allies. The United States Army soldiers create and embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the field, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of the nation and an unspoken assurance to all who see you that you are willing and able protector of the freedoms fought so arduously for by all who have gone before and those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand as Specialist Lucia Ryan leads the soldiers standing before you for the reciting of the Soldier's Creed. Morgan. 
organized along traditional lines. The 1st Battalion retained the designation of the 13th Infantry. After World War II, the unit was inactivated at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. On 17 August 1949, the regiment was activated once again at Fort Jackson, South Carolina, as part of the 8th Infantry Division, where it remained until 1 August 1954. The 8th Infantry Division was transferred to Fort Carson, Colorado, and the 13th went with it, where it resumed its training mission. In January 1956, the regiment began to receive permanent party personnel, as well as new recruits. Basic training for these recruits began in mid-February and segued immediately into advanced training. Both training blocks were completed by mid-June when the regiment achieved combat-ready status. In August 1957, the regiment was reorganized under the Potomac system as the first battle for the 13th Infantry Regiment and the old guidons were retired and new guidons for the first battle group were issued. In January 1958, the 1st Battle Group, 13th Infantry Regiment, moved from New York, Germany, to Sandhaw. The 1st Battalion was posted to Von Boulder, whilst the 2nd Battalion was posted to Mannheim, and remained there until 1 August 1984, when it was inactivated and relieved from assignment to the 8th Infantry Division. On 27 February 1988, the 13th Infantry Regiment was transferred to the United States Army Training and Doctrine Command and reorganized at Fort Jackson, South Carolina where he conducts basic combat training as part of the 193rd Infantry Brigade. Reviews can be traced to the Middle Ages when rulers, as a way of showing their strength, were likely to have military ceremonies. In the American Army, reviews were originally outlined in Baron Friedrich von Steuben's Blue Book and practiced by revolutionary cadets. A review consisted of four stages, formation of troops, presentation and honors, inspection, and a march and review. Today's review has incorporated three additional stages, honors to the nation, marks, and a conclusion. The presence of the band on military music represents a significant role that the drum, fife, and other musical instruments have played throughout military history. For signaling in camp or on the battlefield, the presence of the colors at the center of the formation represents their presence at the forefront of the unit during the heat of battle. Passing the reviewing stand is the commander of troops, Major Samuel Moore, and the Italian staff.